In this tutorial, you learn how to apply a custom query filter to the Elementor loop grid. In a previous video, I showed you how to order your Elementor loop grid by an ACF date field. And I believe that video helped a lot of people out because there were tons of comments and responses. And then within the comments, there were two questions which I will attempt to solve in today's video. The first one being that the person wanted to order products, not just posts or custom post types. And then the second problem was that they wanted to be able to order by a checkbox field rather than a simple text field or date field. So those are the two questions we'll be solving in today's video. So now let's jump right into the WordPress dashboard. So this is the design we'll be working with in today's video. Basically, we have a loop grid that displays all our products and then those loop grids have a checkbox field that states the status. So when that status of sold is checked, it sends that product to become the last item within the listing. As you can see here, if you go to the bottom, you see the last two items because they have a checkbox field that was checked to say sold. It now goes to the bottom of the listing. It's still within the listing, but just ordered to be the last items in the listing. And it has sold out basically. So now let's see how we can create this. So let me go ahead and show you the back end. So here we are on the back end. We have our products using WooCommerce. So this is our list of products. And then using ACF, I created some field groups. So this is the products extra and it contains four items. And what we are concerned here is the status. So under the status, it is a checkbox field and it just has two options. The first one is reserved and the second one is sold. So we want that for each of the products, when you choose sold, then that product is rearranged to the bottom of the listing. One thing to note is that you should try to add your ACF fields before you add your products. Because if you add it after, by default, those values will not get translated into your products. But if you add it before, then it will translate properly. But if you create them after, then make sure you go into your products and just save those products again so that the fields can get updated on the back end. So with that being said, now let's go ahead and see our code that we're working with, the custom query. So this is it within WP code box. This was the custom query filter for the first example, which was ordering by a start date. And basically all we had to do was just say order by the value. Then we give the key. The key was start date. And then I also added the extra so that anything before that today's date, so for past events should not show up, only events that start from today and onward. But that was for the previous one. In this one, the challenge we're going to tackle is trying to order by a checkbox field. And that is what we work with here. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But basically it's similar. So we are still doing the same thing. We'll choose the key to be our meta key for status, which I can show you here. If you go, you can see the key is status. Then our meta query, we're going to now give it a query to say that it will query this function. Because in this case, the value is not a static value. So we can't just say value because it's an array. So we're going to try to get into that array. So we're using this meta query to say if the status is sold within the array and we're looking for the opposite. So we're using a trick. We're going to say that anyone that is not sold should show up first. The one that is sold should show up last. So that's why we're querying for the one that is not sold. So when the checkbox is not displaying sold, then that should be the one that appears first. Then we now did the last thing which is to order by. So we're ordering by that meta value in an ascending order. So that is the way it's arranged. So first it should only show values that are not sold and it should do it in ascending order. So that's why the sold values are now pushed to the last while the not sold values are at the top. So that's the simple query here. So if you just copy this query and then put it into your loop grid, it should work. So that is the first problem done. 
all you need to do is copy this to your code snippets plugin or into your child theme. And then remember this query ID, which is DD status checkbox with underscores. That's all I'll just copy here. Then I'll go back to the loop grid. Let me see where they open it. Okay, that's it. So within the loop grid now, I'll just go ahead, click on it. And here is the second problem and how to solve it. The second problem is that if you try to choose products and go to query, you wouldn't see the query ID to add it here. But thanks to Maxim who pointed it out to me recently, all you have to do is go back to your layout. Then rather than using product, because product is actually a type of post, it's just a custom post type called products. So you can still set it up to be posts. Then when you've done that, you choose your template or you create a new template and edit the template however you like. And then on that query now, you can now go to the source and choose products. So that's how we can do it here. So rather than using the products within our template type, we use posts. Then on that query, we go and choose the source to be products. Now we can add the query ID here. When we choose that query ID, everything should work fine. And that's it. That's how to solve the two problems. So for products, just make sure you choose the layout to be posts and then choose the actual query to be products. Then to be able to order by that checkbox, as you can see, let me go and show you the examples. Let's go to one of the products. So under products, let's choose, let me give an example of voice acting. I'll just go ahead and tick the sold, then update. Then now let me go over to this, refresh it. And now you see voice acting is also one of the last items on the list. And so that's how easy it is. So, so whenever the checkbox for sold is ticked, then it gets rearranged to the bottom of the, the listing. So that was the question that was asked and this is the solution. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about the query filter, you can go to their website, the custom query filter, and then just go through it. It explains everything to you. And then you just have to use the standard WP query filter with the meta query, the post type. You can even set up multiple post types. You can do so many things as long as you understand the WP query. In the future video, I'll show you how to do it using dynamic shortcodes, and I will try to break down the different WP query parameters that you can use and how you can use that to create different complex queries however you like. So stay tuned and check out for that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.